What is up? I am Ryan, and you've just wandered into a cloud of art. That's video art. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. Good noon to you from Cambodia. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. That's all. It's all set. I bring it along with me. The washing machine's heavy, but it's all worth it. Bangkok is one of the most delicious cities in the world, and we're visiting one of the most delicious parts of the city. It's Chinatown. I love Chinatowns. I was living in Toronto for a long time and I visited every little bit of Chinatown, visiting the restaurants, the quirky little shops that they have there. When I started traveling, I always made a point to go to a city's Chinatown if it had one. And usually the end goal there would be delicious food. Bangkok's Chinatown has a lot of that. It's one of the biggest Chinatowns in the entire world. And Sarah and I had two days to stuff our faces with as much food as possible. I'm gonna get fat. This just in, people are no longer allowed to use the word f uh, Apparently it hurts the feelings of obese people. Instead, we should use the word plus-sized. Let's go explore Bangkok's Chinatown. I'm gonna get plus size. Y'all don't know people like this. 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 Hey, it rains. This is Yawarat Road, which is the main street in Bangkok's Chinatown. All right, it's late night in the city, and we're going for some food. And as you can see, at night, it is pumping with street food. Man, it's just piles of food along here. It's the greatest place ever. Chinatown is one of the oldest neighborhoods of Bangkok. It was founded in 1782 which means it's exactly 200 years older than me. It looks pretty good. I hope I look that good when I'm 240. Look at this old bus. Oh, this girl's playing it. I didn't see that. It's cool. It's pretty good. This lady's going for it. This is we can do it too. Most of the Chinese in Thailand are Teju. Teju? What's that? That's not a thing. Teju is how you should pronounce this word. It's not Teochu. Come on, guys. What are you? Some kind of moron who didn't do research for this video? Although their food does make you want to chew it. The oyster omelets that you'll find all over Thailand are from the Teju immigrants, as is a lot of the rice noodle soup, especially if it has fish balls in it. Whoa, this guy's got a pile of food. There's so much great food here, but I also found it a little overwhelming. I don't know what to get. There's people everywhere. You gotta figure out where to order and where to eat it as the crowds push past you. It's just, it was a lot, maybe because I haven't done it, anything like this in a while since pre-COVID. Look at this guy's hat over here. That's cool, right? This guy's hat. That's just a great dish that I want to eat a hundred times over, but maybe not today. And then we went for that exact dish. This is a stewed pork leg, cow ka mu. Funnily enough, to say pork in Thai is mu. The problem with this place is they don't sell beer. And uh, who eats pork, stewed pork without beer? Thank you. Looks pretty good. It's one of the best things you can eat in Thailand. The meat is cooked for around three hours, so it's super, super tender. They give you some skin with it, 
It's sweet and salty, and it's also one of the cheapest meals you can get. A plate of pork and rice will usually go for about 40 Thai baht, which is about a dollar and 10 cents in USD. Even exist. So tender. Mm -hmm. I'm like medium hungry. No, no, I wouldn't use the word hungry. I'm like medium capable of eating something right now. I'm not hungry at all. Oh, oh my god! Melt in your mouth. Look at that. You can't even stab it with a fork. It just falls apart. Little spot. All right, we got a lesson. We got a lesson in how to eat it. She just put some garlic in there, put some of this hot sauce on it, and she's like, put it on a spoon, rice, pork, garlic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good. How many more of this stuff? The way to do it. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. It's really good. I was skeptical of the hunks of raw garlic, but I think they're slightly pickled, maybe just soaked in water to get some of that Allison out. All was going so well. And then I saw a rat run by. If I see a rat in a restaurant, I normally ban that restaurant from existence. It's my code. A man's got to have a code. A man got to have a code. In Southeast Asia, rats are everywhere. They're hard to avoid. They're utterly disgusting. I don't know. Good food, really friendly people, but a big plus size rat in the bathroom. Let's wash all this bad stuff away with some coconut ice cream. Coconut ice cream with some, looks like condensed milk or maybe some coconut cream probably. Um, some crispy rice bits and black rice. What are we looking at? 65? 65. That looks really good. Like the kind of Vietnam. Look at that. Yummy. Look how happy they are. It's like that rat didn't exist at all. All it took was some coconut ice cream. Delicious. Oh, some black sticky rice. So good. Let's just fade to black now. All right, folks, it is early in the morning, about 7 a.m., and Chinatown is much quieter. So what time is it, 7? 7.20. 7.20. coming back. But, uh... Definitely a lot quieter than last night. It's crazy down here. Kind of overwhelming with all this stuff. But a cool, cool spot to grab some street food. So the plan for today is to walk around, get some delicious food, and just see the city, I guess. But right now we're headed to the old market. So we're going to head to the old market right now and see if we can find some breakfast. It looks like we can find breakfast anywhere. Oh, pork and egg, pork, barbecue pork, cream, taro, black sesame, red bean, mung pao, raisin. You said there's another one, right? Seems like there's going to be a lot. Yeah, it's Chinatown. It's Bowser Town. Orkan. Um, <laughs> we said Orkan. Uh, I, I did. I, you said. Oh, I didn't hear what I you said. I said it right. I'm smart. Yeah. 
Thank you, hell yeah. Oh, that was amazing. All right, I'm gonna eat mine. Quick little cut through the market, which is just opening up. Yeah, it seems kind of, well, oh, there's all kinds of little alleys in here. I don't know. All right, let's go that way. I love the, the little alleys, like, feels so much older than Phnom Penh and like kind of pieced together more. Well, shut up. I'm gonna get some like cheap, cheap shoes. There's a lot of options here. Oh, I could get uh, these ones. Oh, Bitcoin ones. I mean, all kinds of options. All kinds of food over here. This lady's cooking it up on a walk. But we're gonna get some coffee for the walk. Busy corner right here next to a 7 Eleven. Got my coffee, and we found the river. Hey, look at this troop of white people. Let's go, whitey! Quite the skyline. Got some nice skyscrapers. This building right here is super cool. It almost looks like it's being processed, loading up. This is Odeon crab wonton noodles. We ordered some noodle soup with shrimp wontons and a bunch of crab meat. Cost was 70 Thai baht or $1.90 US. We also got some fried shrimp wontons because who can resist them with their sticky, sweet sauce? Oh, you can resist them. Oh, I guess you're better than me and I should hold you in high regard. Hmm? It's really good to me. After that delicious lunch, it was time to relax and digest at our holy street fried ball sacks. What the hell is that? This is patongo, fried dough served with a dipping sauce. 50 Thai baht or $1.36 US for an order, and it is delicious. Watch us eat it now. Get a little Queen Sarah on her big post bed. This is what we just got some street food. These are yotiaos, as we call them in Chinese. Um, fried bread. I don't know, What's the, there's no English name for them, is there? But you're not getting crumbs in the bed, are you? No, none. So they make them, and you dip them in pandan cream custard, I guess it is. It's called patongo in Thai. And then you eat them. Mmm, mm, that's good. Oh, bud, you just dripped. Bud, you're not getting crumbs in the bed, are you? No, no. All right, 
Dinner time. <laughs> All right, it's dinner time, and we have a special bowl of noodles that we absolutely must try before we leave. Sarah orders one bowl. The lady turns away, pulls the menu away before she can order a second. I ended up having to slap that lady. I'm not proud of it, but I gotta defend the honor of my woman. This small stand is Nalek Uan, and they make a peppery noodle soup with crispy pork. Let me tell you, Thailand has some amazing crispy pork belly. They do it so well there. It seems to be everywhere. It's very hard to resist. Crispy glass-like skin, tender, tender pieces of meat with streaks of plus size in it. This bowl was 60 Thai baht or $1.60 US. <laughs> Super uh, busy here. How do you like that? That's good. It's peppery. Super peppery. <laughs> and uh, the noodles are super unique. It's like a rolled up noodle. Good. I like it. And wow, what a meal, what a day. But wait, that's not it. It's not over until the plus size lady sings. One last snack. These are Yao Warat toasted buns. Buns grilled up and buttered and filled with the filling of your choice. Hey, these uh, Sammies that we bought are like ridiculous. We got a chocolate, a pineapple jam, and a sweetened milk. Which one is like chocolate pudding? Why are you watching yourself in the mirror as you eat it? Shame. Shame. <laughs> Thus ends this video and the peak of your week. Lots more videos about Thailand coming up soon, so make sure you stay tuned and make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. This is Ryan reporting from Bangkok, Thailand. Take care, comb your hair. I'm out. Before I wanna buy myself, I don't wanna hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake. Flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love, fuck a date. When I hit the jack, you can keep the pie. Every night I come a light stop. Yeah. When I check the cost, I was like, Oh, that's expensive. Hey.